The president said he had nothing to explain. Major, thank you. CBS News contributor Michael Morrell is a former acting and deputy director of the CIA. He joins us from Stanford, California. Good morning, Mike. Um, Good morning. President Trump, uh, in talking about this false equivalency between the U.S. government and the Russian government, just take a step by step what that suggests about his knowledge of what Russia is doing. So it suggests that he doesn't have a good understanding of what Putin has done over a very long period of time. Um, he has killed dozens and dozens of journalists, of political opponents, um, both inside of Russia and outside of Russia. Um, and as so many people have said in the last 24 hours, there is no equivalency between those extrajudicial killings of political opponents and what the United States does overseas um, under the authority of the President of the United States um, to, to defend the United States against serious threats. Um, so it's a, it's a very bizarre statement, Nora. Okay, so let's assume it's a bizarre statement. Let's assume that he should really probably does know about Vladimir Putin. I mean, he's an intelligent man. He's been around and campaigning for uh, two years for the presidency. Why is he resistant to acknowledging it? You know, I think he has um, a, 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 some special affection for Putin that is um, a result of, of something that we don't fully understand. You know, there are questions out there about financial ties. There's questions about um, compromising material. Um, what we saw was Putin praising Trump during the campaign and Trump in return praising Putin. So it could be as simple as that. But there is some special bond here. Um, that uh, that seems to be overriding um, the facts and the interests of the United States of America. On the other hand, Nikki Haley is criticizing Putin at the UN. Yeah, so not only Nikki, um, who said that uh, she denounced um, what the Russians are doing in eastern Ukraine. They've, they've picked up the fighting in the last week. And uh, the vice president yesterday said that he was uh, deeply troubled by what the Russians are doing in eastern Ukraine. So um, the president's comments were bookended by, by very, uh, very dissimilar comments by two of his most senior advisors. So what are the implications of mixed messages there then? So I think, um, you know, Putin is an authoritarian. Um, so he believes that the voice of the most powerful person is the most important. So the voice he hears most loudly is the president's, um, and he will discount the voices of others. So that is, that is why it's so important, I think, in the next 24, 48 hours for the president to get out there and say that he is deeply troubled by what the Russians are doing in eastern Ukraine over the last week. And what about the president, President Trump and the last week in terms of Iran? So I believe, and I've, I've said this for the last three years on this program, that, that the United States needs to push back harder against Iranian misbehavior in the region. Um, and to the extent that the Trump administration plans to go down that road, I think that is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. Now, I think talking about regime change in Tehran, which some of his advisors did before he became president, Mike Flynn, um, his deputy at the NSC, um, they've talked about regime change, that is going too far. But we do need to push back harder against what the Iranians are doing in the region. Support to terrorism, support to insurgencies. Well, does that mean using military pressure? Um, I think it means using all, all the tools that we have at our disposal, Charlie. Michael Morrell, always good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Well,